Persecution. I know what it's like to feel persecuted. Okay, but the thing is to turn around that crap and make it into fertilizer and make something good grow out of it, you know? Okay, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do this portrait paint dye. We're going to do this sun design, okay? It's really simple, it's really fun, and uh, you're going to love it, you know? It's really easy. Uh, if you, you know, have troubles with it, you always, you know, make just whatever you want to do with it, you know? It's always, it's art. Have a good time. Okay, so let's check it out, man. We're gonna do this right now. <laughs> After you get your shirt soaked in the soda ash solution and you spun, spun cycle in the washer, <laughs> your shirt's ready to die. Okay, we're going to do this portrait paint dye. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave a center spot, a circle, white, so we can paint the sun in there. So just take it to the folding table. Come on. So we're going to lay the, fur, the shirt face up. Right. So we're going to do it face up. We're going to fold it in half. We're going to do underarm to underarm. Okay, match this punt first. And then just match the bottom corner right here. And the top right here. Right, you got all those three spots matched up. Right, and get your shirt like this and kind of pull it apart like you put it, you go point, and you get all that flat, okay? So now what we want to do is make a circle. So to do that, it's pretty easy. Find the 
change something that's circular. A Play-Doh deal. Okay. okay. Put these in half here. Right? And draw a half a circle. Okay. Now we're going to do that. We're going to fold the line. It's pretty easy. Just going to put on each thing and push, pinch, push, pinch. And just follow the line. Keep it all flat and just keep your hand on the surface. And just push, pinch, push, pinch, gather, push, pinch, gather. Okay, we're going to match up the line like that. See that? You're going to need a baggie so we can put it over the top of this or something plastic. We need some rubber bands. So we need some rubber bands here. Fold the rubber band in half like this. Yeah, today's the seventh year anniversary for Tie-Dye Hobo. Little Tie-Dye Hobo, seven years old. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna do this one again. Fold this one in half. Just this one here like that. And right up to here. And the rest we're just gonna leave single fold. Okay? Okay, what I do is I have this part flat on the surface right here. Three fingers, high bridge, low bridge. So you can put it flat and you can go all the way in there and watch me. See that? Just keep it flat. Don't don't lift up. Just keep it flat. Okay? There we go. Just like that. Just have fun. Don't be tripping out or stressing on this, right? Just have a good time and have fun. Okay, so now we're gonna put this one right here. And now we're gonna get the baggie. The baggie is almost similar to putting rubber bands on. Side underneath. There we go, just like that, okay? What I do is I tuck it underneath so I can get the rubber band over it now. Because I fought with it one time. <laughs> Fold this in half again. Okay, three fingers inside underneath to that spot. Okay, there we go. Now we got ready to dye. So let's take the dyeing table and we're going to dye it. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to use the uh, rainbow colors. I'm going to start with yellow. Oh uh, yeah. You're supposed to wear gloves, man, but I ain't got any! <laughs> one day, one day, maybe I'll get them. <laughs> so we're gonna get yellow. We're gonna screw it right up the edge of this. Okay? No worries. Just have fun. Squirt it on. You get orange now. Okay? Now we're gonna get red. Alright. I'm not necessarily going to the rubber bands, but they are good markers. Okay, so now we're gonna do blue. Turquoise. Now some green. And we have the colors of the rainbow. Because when that turquoise hit the red, it made a purple in there. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over. So, you know, remember, you're supposed to wear gloves, you know. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do now, this side here, I'm going to flip it and switch it. I'm going to do the orange first, okay. And then now I'm going to do red. Turquoise. And I'm gonna do green. Green, not yellow. Green. Okay, and then I'll do yellow again. Okay, so now we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna um, um, take it and take it apart and unpeel it. And then put it on the table and get ready to paint it. Paint the dyes on there. So we're going to paint the sun on there. So um, normally, on a shirt like this, if we weren't going to do the paint dye, we let this sit for 24 hours. 
or 10 to 24 hours. And you can put it in the, get the washer going full load and get mild soap. And um, I use dish soap. It works great. Because they try to sell you all these expensive soaps and stuff and tell you that's the only stuff you have to use. No, I've used everything under the sun, man. And um, that's not true. Dish soap, mild soap, would, even shampoo would work without bleach, okay? So hang on a minute. We're going to let this set, and then we're going to come back and open it up and then paint it. Hang on. Okay, here's the shirt. Okay. I unpeeled it and put it on the table. Okay, now I'm going to get a cup with some dyes in there, some black dye. i show you how to mix dyes with three basic colors. So, I'm going to do the drawing first. I'm going to get some smaller circles so I can keep the, um, the white inside there. All right. So, I'm going to get this cookie lid here so I can keep some white on the outside there, okay? Try to center as best as you can in there. Nothing's perfect. Perfection is boring. Everything is beautiful. Okay. So we're going to do this outline of this circle here. Okay. I think you need to get a better marker. These are uh, washable. These are washable. So let's see. We're gonna draw a little face on there, okay? We draw the eyes first. Okay, little eyelids here, and then a little circles for the eyes. Okay. Now I'll draw the other one just as equal. So, okay. Okay, there we go. I think I need to get another marker. Oh boy. Yeah, after a while, they get kind of wore out, you know. Because the thing's still s soaking from... I just barely need to see it, but, you know, you'll see when I start painting it on there. Okay, it looks like I need to get some new markers. All right, here we go. Okay, eyelid. Okay, now eye. Okay. Now we're going to do the nose. Like a little... Like that. And little nostrils. Okay. Now we're gonna do lips. Okay. Smelly face. Okay. Now some eyebrows. And we're gonna paint this on with the the brush right now. Okay. Yeah. All right, it looks like I got some green paint on this sun here, but you know what? You could be a little bit more careful than me, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to do the outline of this first. You want to make sure your hands are clean, you yeah? know? Okay. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Some more on there. Can you now do the eyes right now? Okay. Make sure you guys share as much as you can because sharing is very important. If we all share, everybody would be happy. There'd be no needs. There'd be unnecessary wants, but there'd be no needs. See, I share all I can when I can, you know? Because if you don't share it, it's worthless. But if you share it and you don't want nothing back, it's priceless. So we're going to do these eyes right now here like this. Okay. Okay, now we do some eyelashes here. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now we're going to do some eyebrows. Okay. You can do it however you want, okay? This is how this one's turning out. They all turn out different. Here's the nose. 
Okay. Now the nostrils. Now the mouth. Hope you guys like the sound of the Grateful Dead in the background. <laughs> Some people don't. If you don't like the Grateful Dead, you might as well just turn the channel. <laughs> but I love Jesus. Okay, here we go now. We're going to paint some color on there. First, we're going to get some red for the lips. Some red for the lips here. Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like I got some... It's just for fun, you know, it's all, it's all fun. If you guys do these, don't overcharge, please. Make them so beautiful for people, you know, where they can enjoy them and wear them all the time. Okay, now we're going to get some um, orange for the eyes. Yeah, orange for the eye. Isn't that trippy? It almost looks brown now because of the black touched it. See how that works? Okay, now we're going to make... Um, I think I'm going to do like a, a light orange. So I'm going to add some yellow and just a smidge of uh, orange to it. So now we got this pale orange. Okay, see that? Pretty cool, huh? You can take your time, make it look nice, you know, there's no rush. But I'm just trying to get these videos in so you guys' attentions don't get lost. So, um, but you can, just as long as they're still damp and still setting, you can do this through a 24-hour period to, that way. Now let's see how it looks. Come on. All right, you guys, here it is, man. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. It was really cool. It's fun, it's simple, and make sure you subscribe to Tai Dai Hobo or hit the notification button so you can be notified. And uh. My, my website is tiedihobo.com. Uh, I have plenty of designs and choices to choose from, like 60 some designs and 80 some color schemes. It's like a pizza parlor. You go in there and pick your design, pick your color, and pick your size, and you're out the door you go. Okay, so thanks for checking out Tie Dye Hobo, and you guys have a great day. Aloha. Oh, yeah, here's your hugs. Mm.